Hello, a warm welcome. We've dropped anchor here on the south coast of England at St Mary Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical analysis is Stuart Robson. And we have FA Cup action to bring you from the round of 16 just moments away. It's Southampton and they face Brentford. Yes, Derek, we're getting to the business end now. Just 16 teams remain. Who can hold their nerve and book a place in the quarterfinals? We're 90 minutes from finding out. It should be a great game. And a fine tackle. Oh, breezing past him. Big chance. Oh, that is a superb save. Da Silva Henry could play it in determined defending it's been pretty well impossible to escape all the news stories surrounding him ahead of today's match if you believe the stories coming out of the camp this could be his final season. Could he be thinking about hanging up his boots? Yeah, if the rumours are correct, it's going to be a big loss for the club. They've come to rely on his performances. We all get to that age where it all becomes a little bit harder on the body. He's starting to get to that age, so I wouldn't be too surprised. So, a corner here. Johan Wiesa. Da Silva. And well, they stopped them in their tracks. And that pass could be troublesome. Running with the ball confidently. Well, it came to nothing in the end. We're getting the ball forward. Well, it could be on for him here. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, and he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. Well, the visitors have controlled possession, as you can see, but without really creating enough chances. They've almost passed the ball for the sake of it. They need to start getting it into their front players much quicker to get back into this. Well, they could really get at the opposition. Opportunity here! Could be up for grabs. Well, threat over for now. Well, what a great save that was to keep them in this. Now, hold on, Stuart. They're in here. And another one. Two quick goals. Will it turn out to be the two-punch knockout? Well, as you can see, he gave the keeper no chance there. He looked so confident, didn't he? That's a cool finish. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. One minute of time added on for stoppages. Oh, in with a chance! A goal!
Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line. Hello and a warm welcome to the South Coast. We find ourselves today at St Mary's Stadium. I'm Derek Ray and I'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Southampton and they face Bournemouth. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which he must finish! Well, here it is again. Just look at the quality of the cross. It's inch perfect, but you have to question the defending here. They don't attack the ball when it comes in. They don't react quickly enough to close the scorer down. It's really poor defending. So they are playing again, and Southampton are the team in front. Well, big news I'm hearing. A penalty has been awarded in one of the other games. Alex Scott with the details. Yes. It was a penalty for Liverpool. Alex, sorry to interject, but a big chance here. And a decent save. Full credit. Maximum commitment, and he's given away the corner. Who can they pick out? Well, the danger is still there. Being egged on by the crowd. Well, here it is again, and when you clear the ball, you have to get height and distance on it to give your defence time to readjust. They don't do that, it's a poor clearance, and suddenly the ball's in the back of the net. Jamal Lowe. And a good tackle. Fruitful-looking attack. Free kick awarded then by the referee. Well, any goalkeeper would be disappointed if he didn't save that. Ward Prowse. Well, that's how to put in a clean tackle. Making a bit of headway. And he'll take efforts like that all day long. Right, something has changed at St. James's Park, but let's get details by joining Alex. It's a goal for Newcastle. It's now 1-0 with 25 minutes played. Cheers, Alex. Opportunity it is. And a goal! They're running riot here, almost out of sight. Well, as you can see, the defending is all over the place. That's far too easy for the attackers. The goalkeeper's got absolutely no chance there. Well, you've got to say, an incredible first-half performance. That scoreline tells you all you need to know. Well, approaching half-time on the home side, very much in charge here, Stuart. Your thoughts? Well, what a totally dominant performance this has been so far. Their attacking play has been a joy to watch. They've passed it forward at the right times, they've switched play quickly, and we've seen some great individual displays as well. I don't think they're let up in the second 45. Just the challenge that was required. Joe Rothwell promising sequence but a good piece of defending to bring it to an end he's in here and it goes such a complete performance for it
the man to watch. Three goals in three games, and you can't argue with that. We're live on EA TV. Hello, a warm welcome. We've dropped anchor here on the south coast of England at St Mary's Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you match commentary. And alongside me is Stuart Robson. And we have action from the quarter-final stage of the FA Cup just moments away. It's Southampton versus Everton. Well, a semi-final place is up for grabs, so we should be in for a classic encounter here today. With both teams desperate for silverware, I'm expecting a fiercely competitive contest, Derek. And here's how Everton line up. Asmir Begovic is the goalkeeper. Yerimina starts alongside James Tarkovsky in central defence. And leading the attack today is Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Splendid tackle and a throw-in coming up. Might be able to get in behind the defence. How about the cross? Well, dealt with that ball comfortably. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man, Stuart. What do you anticipate seeing from him? Well, Derek, he's a great all-round player, but it's his ability to run in behind defenders that makes him such a threat. And when he gets 1v1 against the goalkeeper, he usually scores. Maitland-Niles... the Niles can he put them in front still can be dangerous well to think he only had the keeper to beat couldn't take the opportunity well the keeper's made a good save but you just sense a goal is coming soon chance to do damage can he get them in front just can't get it past him And the challenge halts them in their tracks. Real chance. And a goal! Now they have their opener. And now they can celebrate. Well, here's the replay. And he shows great awareness to play this through ball. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. Now back underway. And 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Adams, and he's in, and a goal, the quick one two, and they turn. And this game on its head. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one foot in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. And that pass could be troublesome. And that's a very good parry. He's showing good defensive judgment. Chances on. Well, the keeper was called upon and delivered. Well, he's so good in those 1v1 moments, and he's proved it yet again. Over it comes. Determined block. Well, those stats back up what we've been watching. It's been a really one-sided game, and it's far too easy for them to open up this defence. This could turn into a rout. It will be. We are going to have two additional minutes. He's in with a chance. And it goes! Well, it's one goal after another. A highly impressive performance. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect.